Hi, today I would like to present RIP, Routing Information Protocol. This is one of the simple and the oldest like distance vector protocol. The configuration path, take to a W12 routers, 2960 switch, and the pieces. This power up router. I take a single and uh, power on the router. Power off. This is a straight through cable to establish a connection between the PCs and switch. Switch to router. Sync configuration in the second side. And there is a serial connection between the two routers. Here the red dots represents the there is no direct connection between so we will have the if you place the cursor on the router, it's showing the fast Ethernet 00, zero is link is down, and the serial 0, 03 by 0 is also down. So we have to assign the IP address for those ports, and we have to up those ports. See how we can do that. Here, actually, I would like to bisect this one so that you can easily find out the networks in this. This is the network. Uh, This is the network twelve dot eleven dot ten dot zero slash thirty. Network of one ninety one ninety two one sixty eight two dot zero slash twenty four. So here this configuration includes three different networks. Same now we can manually configure those ports. Enable goes to configuration mode, global configuration mode, and uh, we have to assign the IP address for fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. There's interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. You will assign the IP address, that is 192. Dot one sixty eight dot one dot one and the subnet mask is slash twenty four that is two fifty five and two fifty five dot zero and issue a no shared command so that if we bring up the fast Ethernet we can see the green 
bubble so the interface is up so now we'll configure the pc parts we have to assign the ip addresses for the pcs 192.168.1.0 one we'll assign the 100 slash 24 7 mass the default gateway is fast ethernet 0 by 0 the nearest router port it is 192. This is the default gateway which I have assigned to fast Ethernet 0 by 0. Same configuration in the second. I'm assigning 101 default gateway. So now the pieces can able to ping the router they can able to ping each other now we have to do the same configuration to the right side there is a network 192.168.2.0 configure them so manual configuration enable go to configuration mode and uh, go to the interface fa0 slash 0 and the IP address 192.168.2.1 and the subnet mask is slash 24 and it should note it down so it will print up next assign the IP address and default gateways 2.1 the default gateway now this piece is can able to ping each other so we are able to connect the network 1.0 and network 2.0 individually but this, those two networks can ping each other because there is no direct connection or any route between them so before applying the route or IP first we have to assign the IP addresses for these two ports serial 3 tar serial 3 slash 0 slash 3 slash 0 and uh, these two serial ports for interface serial zero slash we have now we have configured two networks 1.0 2.0 individually those two networks cannot communicate each other because there is no route between them so we have to configure a, a route on both routers so that those two routers can exchange their, their routes to communicate other side of the network before configuring, configuring the RIP, we have to assign the IP addresses for those serial ports. Interface. There is on router to interface. Serial interface. IP address. That is, this network is 12.1.10.0. So I will assign 12.11.10.1 and slash 30 is the web mask. That is 252. And issue no shared. Because I am issuing the no shared but still saying the state as to down because other side of the port is still down. So just to the same IP address configuration other side of 
this interface serial 0 slash 3 slash 0 IP address um, sorry that is 12 dot 11 dot 10 dot 2 255 dot slash 30 I'm issuing the notion now we see the red bubble what will happen it's going because both networks are up now both ports are up now here these two rotors can able to ping each other can this pc ping this router to no it's failed because this pc doesn't know how to reach this router to so we'll now the rig will perform the magic the simple very simple configuration router rig and just enter the network address of its connected networks that is 1.0 and 10.0 that is network 1 92.168.1.0 network 12.11.10.0 and I should know how to summary Configure the rip thus. Router rip network one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot two dot zero network. And the network of this is 12 dot 11 dot 10 dot 0. Auto summary. Now we'll see how this will do this each basis. See, this is success. Previously, these two pieces cannot be able to ping each other but now can be able to see how this pc 7 pings pc 5 first it's building the orb see second time it's success we will see the routing information see here this is directly connected networks this is the rig which we have added see we have entered only two networks 1.0 and 10.0 see here the router itself knows other side of the network because this is come from this router too. this will share distribute that one Now I would like to show the simulation mode how the packet is transferred from PC4 to PC7 that is from one network to other network. Click this button and select only the ICMP packet. And now PC7. Now we will see. Here the packet is transferred to the nearest switch. Then that is moved to the router. That is the default gateway and this router knows the routing information how this can be done so it tries passes to the packet to router 3 and router 3 knows where the destination pc is there is a transfer and uh, now we can get the reply from pc7 to pc4 and passes to router 3 and the router 3 knows the destination address 
that is the PC4 where it is located. That is the pass of the packet from router 3 to router 2. The same you can see the how this within which layer is see there is success. <laughs>